Hey, this is Jeremy Kaler with the Kaler team at Keller Williams Realty here in Rapid City and the Black Hills of South Dakota. Um, I wanted to give you guys kind of an update on what we're seeing. It is January 11th, 2022. Um, so Happy New Year. Wanted to give you update um, and talk on timing. So this time of year, I get a lot of questions from clients on when should we list our house? Um, when would timing be right? When's the market the busiest? And it's always a crystal ball question, but um, right last year, the market took right back off after the first of the year. Um, this year, the week after New Year's, Monday, we already started seeing a bunch of buyer calls come in and it hasn't slowed down since. We're getting about probably two new buyers a day on average getting ready to search out here. So, so the activity and the demand is still there. Um, buyers over the holidays weren't quite as aggressive as they were this last year through the spring, summer, fall. So you saw motivation slow down a little bit, but um, I think too, everyone's a little preoccupied when they're going through holidays. So um, <clears throat> what we're seeing and what I've been telling my listing clients, the inventory is still extremely low. So yesterday I just pulled how many listings are active on the market out here. And if you look in our entire MLS, so that can be all areas of the hills, any towns, any price range, single family homes, new construction, townhomes, all that. There are 140 homes on the market. Um, to be a balanced market, we should be around 600 or so is historically what we've run on average. So we're way off still. And the inventory has kept dropping um, since about beginning of October this last year. So not a lot of competition if you're selling the, your home. Um, if you bring it down into just Rapid City, we had 70 homes on the market as of yesterday. Again, all price ranges. So if you look at that, it is when a buyer's out looking for a home, depending on what price range they're in and criteria, it is extremely limited. And so what that's done is taking the buyers that are out there looking and if you've got a buyer in that say three to four hundred thousand price range what's been happening is if there's a handful of buyers that are looking for that usually all the homes in that price range are under contract right now so there's not a bunch of active homes for sale that they can go look at so as a new listing comes up that pool of buyers goes out looks at it decides if they're gonna write an offer. Usually we're seeing multiple offers and pretty competitive because that is the only one to go after at that point. Whoever gets that one under contract, the rest of the pool of buyers wait for the next place to come up. So as far as listing goes, um, you'll historically people would say, ah, let's wait till springtime. Let's get to April, May. Honestly, the last two years, that has not been necessary. Um, if we put a place out right now, um, it should be very busy, you should get good solid offers, and the interest rates haven't jumped up aggressively yet, of which they are saying rates will keep going up through the year here, which could affect buyers. So take it from the salesperson, but um, with what we're seeing, I think if you are looking at selling and you're not in a later time frame and you have the ability to do it, um, now from what we're seeing is a good time. Thanks. Um, any questions or if you want to reach out to me, you can get me at 605-381-7500 or jeremy at thekalerteam.com.